Hello and welcome to Neon Abyss, a uh, action platformer roguelite. Um, my goal is to play through this on the experimental branch. On hard, I don't think I get to choose difficulty for the first run. So that's a bit of a bummer, but uh, every run after this I'm going to attempt to do in hard. My friend, the enemy of my enemy. I'm Hades. Titan group took most of my powers and destroyed your family. I need fighters like you to put an end to Titan's reign. If you seek revenge, drink it. Looks a little bit glowy. Don't know what this does. What are you doing to me, Hades? And there we go. We're in the goo. Alright, so first run. No other rooms. Uh, tutorial. Tutorial beginning. Jump. Hold longer. S to jump down. Hold to go through. Aim shoot. Simple enough. And I have played uh, on normal uh, in non-experimental branch through all of the final bosses. So I do have a good understanding of the game. I figured that moving to the experimental branch and going up a difficulty would be a good start for a series. So this is Terry. You always get Terry on your first run, showing you your active ability which most guns have your starters do not and you can fly because of terry costs crystals up there and ooh, extra item grenade and an egg eggs will hatch into um grenades uh eggs will hatch into followers and you have that like directional like when you're holding F for the grenade it shows you where that is I believe they take that away in hard difficulty now do I want to keep Terry here I like the meowing as well as the multiverse shot or do we take song of joy bouncy balls right now that burst uh so my bullets seem too weak to go with Song of Joy. Uh, eggs hatch into different pets. Uh, and these build meter down here. There is a wisdom and a uh, violence meter. Remap controls, I'm okay. I think that controls for mouse and keyboard is pretty pretty fine actually I didn't read is this this is George George god of pills he spawns ads and shoots pills at me um, when I get him to half health or not even half health he changes phases and starts jumping drops down from the ceiling and spawns oh. Gotta make sure he doesn't land on me. I'm getting myself in that tight corner every time. So we got that. Oh, lube protocol. Uh, let it guide you. Add shields. Upgrade weapon. So here you can see your uh, weapon level. I upgraded, so that goes up from one to two. And down here I beat a boss, and they give me these golden gems. Uh, also, this is a seed number, so you can. Uh, replay or give out seeds um, in case anyone wants to experience like a specific run. Now, because this is my first run, uh, it's not going to be as long as uh, a more progressed uh, file would be. 
Uh, I'm, ooh, so upgrade makes it shoot at five rather than uh, three. Um, hmm. So I'll only be going to the first major boss if I can make it that far. Oops. Didn't really mean to do that, but whatever. Here we go. Guess I'm going uh, Ares' path of violence, and I don't have enough money right now for anything really. So we'll just continue on. There's gonna be five floors to the first major boss. Um, and I'm not sure how many bosses they have in the game in entirety, but they have a very good selection just have to see what they give us. George used to be one of my least like uh, bosses because I was bad at the beginning and I always got him like first few uh, like run attempts and I don't know I, I, there's a pretty good chance I lost to him one of those times but he was just tough, like, when it's the first boss and you're still learning any sort of patterns in a game, you're just like, what's going on? And so that was my first experience with George. Um, a lot of these rooms have puzzles, I can't get it to hit where I want, have like puzzle based stuff where you can drop down explosives to explode rocks that might give you stuff so being on the lookout for those is always a little important and uh, sometimes you'll screw yourself out of going a certain way because you literally blew it up I can't jump up there from this high uh, another thing to note is that uh, you do have a melee attack if you're shooting or holding mouse one on your mouse and keyboard. Um, you will start to swing a dagger when enemies get close enough to you or you get close enough to enemies. There could be a secret room here. Secret rooms are mainly off of portal rooms. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, that other one was completely roomed up, right? Yeah, full room, that one's missing a single room. They're commonly on ones with three. I should explore more first. Let's go to four. And since I'm on Ares' path, I don't care that that's going to get hit. Oh, that's steps. We can walk up those. I thought it was just a blockade. Uh, something I really like is that there's like uh, like different styles of enemies and like a lot of the different styles of enemies will have like a form in each I, I guess I'm not really explaining that well but um, I got my Ares room so I'll teleport to that when I get the chance uh, no keys uh, I should save the key for a item room. anyways. If, oh, I already went into the item room. Was it free? Or did I pay a key for that? What was in there? <laughs> oh gosh. That scares me. This is faster bullets, maybe more damage as well. This one, I can't really remember, but it wasn't that great. Heart container, crystal container. Ah, that's fine. I'm, I'm good with uh, more HP because I just spent one. So it's, you know, zero sum game, essentially. It's like I never traded it away. Thank you, milkshake. You are delicious. Uh, now I've lost my train of thought of what I was talking about beforehand, though. So. I apologize if you wanted me to continue that. 
I know I was talking about secret rooms, but other than that, I'm lost. <laughs> Ooh, and now I have double shot. Why do I have double shot? What gave me double shot? Was it the milkshake? No. Fewer hearts you have. Gotcha. Cool. So if I can get shields, that would honestly... Uh, I picked it up. Now I only shoot one. I am the fool. Do we think it's going to be there? I have four. Not there. Okay. This is Swallow. Swallow's good. Sorry, Terry. Spend hearts to gain coins. I mean, I guess I could do that to level up. <laughs> I don't know. That's a scary route to go, though. All right. What do we have? Oh, wait, let's see. Secret room, secret room. Oh. Oh. You. Ah, yep. Uh, maybe. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I'm really surprised that landed, but also... Where? I tried... Is there not a... I don't know. I thought there was always supposed to be a secret room. Hello, Sam. God of screams. I knew it. I'm big dumb. He has bombs. Damage is pretty good though. Just need to pay attention to arrows and where I'm shooting. I jumped too early. Go board. This one increases bullets. So I have three plus. So two plus one makes sense. This is why you save a key. Ooh. I don't know what you do, but I know what you do. Greatly increase your rate of fire. Ah, music to my ears. Bears are bad. I mean, bears are cute, but bears are bad. Especially my bears, they're super cute. My little panda. Oh yeah, I haven't really been paying attention, but I have a... Um, Pharaoh, an astronaut, and a bear. On death, drops a heart. Fires eight bullets when attacked. Block enemy bullets. Uh, fires triple bullets at enemies automatic. On death, fire three big bullets. Fires two bouncy bullets at enemies automatically. Very nice. That damage is a lot better, yeah. Swallow was a good choice. Sorry, Terry. I know you're a cute kitty, but... Flight's not good enough. Exploding enemies. Oh, I know where my brain went haywire and I lost my train of thought. The variations of enemies. So... There's like... A variation of enemy for each type. And I find that really nice and neat. Um, bigger cat, Jimmy. Um, drilling warhead. That increases damage a lot. Jimmy pretty much does the same thing as Terry. Uh, I'm not sure why they would choose to make two very, very, very similar guns. You know, both cats, both shoot fish bones, both shoot out three projectiles afterwards. I mean, I, I guess I understand. Maybe it's just one slightly better. What, and they have different active abilities. I know that, but still, I don't know. Strange to me. Half heart. I think I'd rather have three bullets than two and, two and a half hearts. Is that bad? I don't know if that's bad or not. I need shields, man. Please. 
Oh no, don't shoot it. I shot it. I shot it. I deserve it. I don't like the teleporters. Man. Do I really go Aries again? We'll wait and see. Let me get that. Stone. More health, please. Hang on. Oh, mummy. My mummy died. He dropped a heart. Ooh, treasure map. Makes life a little bit easier. Explosions. Don't want. Ah, oh, bouncy bullet. You jerk. You got me good. I was not ready. <laughs> mm, just a boss up there, some chests. Not feeling too great. Open you. Let's head up out this way. <sighs> Still have a challenge on I guess. Explosives. Still have room down here. Half a heart. Thanks. No. Okay. brain. Now I have another wave to go. Just a grenade. So, in Experimental Branch, if you beat a challenge room without taking damage, you get a item. But if you take damage, they just give you consumables. Um, in the regular game with, uh, the, that's just locked off, I can't do anything there. Lost time, I guess. Um, oh, and I'm back to, okay, never mind. Not worth touching the spiky crystal. Um, in the regular game, if you, uh, get hit and beat the challenge room, you get an item. So, in that sense, it's already a harder difficulty talk here, uh, God of Internet? Or God of Screens? Another God of Screens? I have a shield. Okay. Smithing hammer. Upgrade your weapon. Should be level 3 now. Cool deal. I have Alien Baby. He fires two heat-seeking bullets at enemies automatically. And Snowboy. He can throw snowballs, which freezes enemies. So right now, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm not happy with my health but it'll have to do for now and we're on level four so we're getting towards that end already it's a lot quicker the first couple of runs uh jumped into it Dang it. oh weird bullets they were getting stuck in the ground or something I think that was worth it. I'm crazy though. You should not be doing this. I just, I think I'm cocky because I'm on normal and I have a good gun. <laughs> and it's not my fault I'm on normal, I just, I can't choose difficulty level first run. Spike room. Everywhere has 
these doors. Cool. Ooh, chests. Four bullets better than two hearts or one and a half? Maybe. Debatable. Oh my. What happened to my eggs? Did the spikes kill them all? All my little followers are gone. I'm blaming the spikes, dude. That's mad rude. Purple bear shoots a very targeted shot that's like miles. Like, as soon as he sees you, he's charging it. Increased movement speed and weapon damage. And it stays on path. So, like, as soon as he starts charging, try and take an idea of where you were and avoid going back into that spot. I can't tell you how many times I run back into that very spot and get myself hit. Okay, so we have a Athena room, a Wisdom room, and these are a bit nicer. I don't have to spend a, a HP to uh, get the item or items because uh, they offer you two from an Athena room and three from a uh, Ares room. I don't remember what these do. This tells me something about something something crystal or something something shield. This is flight. This is Pegasus wings. Flight's good, but I don't know uh, how good flight is against the major boss. Something something crystal? It's purple. It's got to be crystal. Let's go with wings. I don't really need crystals. I need shields. But this will make life easier. Hey, all my pets are back. What happened to them? They just disappeared. Uh, stone chests require grenades. Missed there, but I was given a grenade, so I might as well toss another. Okay. Not really what I'm looking for, but, you know. Well, they definitely set the spikes off. I don't know if the spikes hurt them or not. Um, famine, rocket mod. I don't like either of those. Well, I like famine, but I have the swallow. But I don't like rocket mod. That like adds a homing rocket to your like firing chance, and that can just explode and hurt me. And right now I'm oh, that's my fault. My brain. My brain couldn't handle the incoming bomb. He, it was such a good lob too. He just, here you go. Boom. Man, I got got. Grenades, give me shields, give me something, I'm afraid. I'd like to win this round. Dangerous receipt. You receive delivery of a batch of bombs. Cool, I got 10 bombs. Okay, shields, please. Half a shield. Something. Starting me off. All bombs. Kill them. Kill them when they're far away. Batu hits people who are close to me. Very good. Good Batu. Uh, one more room. Oh, never mind. I'm not taking damage for that room. Just give me a shield, please. Egg, key, cool. Return on investment. I can't be upset. I just... Ooh. Help. Do I want more HP? No, it takes my bullets down to two. Just don't get hit. <laughs> Smile. That's the plan of action. Let's not get hit. Sound good, everyone? <laughs> cool. 
Bolt, God of Guns. Okay, we're not even at Harvest yet, which is good. I like this boss a lot. He shoots bouncy bullets, which have a predictable bounce. You just need an energy He's gonna drop stuff. I dislike dropping stuff. Ah, uh, he moved and shot. I wasn't ready. Okay. Upgrade your weapon, increase rate of fire. That's nice. And we're on level 4 now, so that'll be doing very well. Beat that without taking a hit, and we got a shield. Lovely. And now we're on the fifth and final floor for this run. Whether we win or die. Shop right up front. I have 81 coins. Might as well. Oh, thunder. Oh, thunder. I definitely want to buy this. No, don't, don't have me pick up things. Thunder, 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 thunder. Needed the key to get in here. Okay, let's see. Esports heads. Increase your rate of fire and movement. Nice. Thunder is really good. But so is Swallow. I don't know if I need to spend the extra money. If I can get enough money to purchase the lion's head gear, that increases my damage based on how many pets I have. And right now I have a decent amount of pets, so that sounds pretty good to me. So I might look to get 20 coins and buy that instead of buying it again. Uh, it shoots bullets up and it dies, and I'm on the fifth floor, so I'm taking full hearts. Okay, full hearts, remember that, full hearts. Um, incendiary grenade, I don't really need it, so I'm not going to take the time. Battle room down here? Yeah. Money. We just need two things. Plenty of money. Might as well. Two bullets. More life. Need more life. Still doing fine with damage. Oh, what I run into. I should just teleport. Ah. No shields. Yeah. More pets, more damage. As I take damage, I'll shoot more bullets. I don't want to go through the laser. It's boss time. Let's go. Come here, Argus. God of darkness. Eyes first. Shoot the eyes. Don't be in 90 degrees. Watch out for the black bullets. Don't be in 90 
leash, Argus, and here comes his spikes. Watch out for spikes. Don't want to be in the corner, really. He's going to shoot a bunch soon. Let's go. Ah, one hit. Okay. Woo! First run. First run. Obviously, it's not um, hard mode. You can see here this shows it's normal. Yellow is normal. But I don't get a choice in that. And I'll happily take a win on my first run. As you gradually lose consciousness, you're surrounded by a warm light. This is only the beginning. Great, you defeated the first manager, unlocking new levels and managers, but there are more challenges waiting for you. Argus. Completed. New target. You have unlocked a new manager and a brand new level. Hal, god of machines. Humans created machines to serve them. But as machines became more intelligent, they began to replace their creators, designing designs with their own. Who is the future? God of Darknet. There are no secrets on the internet. He has hidden in the dark corners to observe and control your devices and your life. Unknown, unknown, unknown. And here we have our upgrade tree. And as you can tell, there's different characters, which I didn't get to select a character, so you had to get stuck with the one I was playing, which is fine. He's a good starter character. But I'm gonna... Oh, I have to do this one. Hidden room rule, there will be at least one hidden, so yeah, there wasn't a guaranteed uh, secret room. And that's why I couldn't find one, which is fine. It's good to know. Um, you will get these items for free in your next run. So we get free trial of Death Believer, and I believe we're unlocking it. Mark stone, find the stones with the colored marks, and blast them open to earn your prize. Okay. So those stones will, well, the uh, paint splatter will show us where the stones are that we can open. And piano room, walking around this room could create such beautiful music. I love these rooms. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit more around here. All right, switch that to hard. Red is hard, as we all know. So from now on, it should always be red unless you know I get to a higher difficulty here's the bar and the club dance for a little bit shake it move it groove it um, this is the lady that we talked to oh, don't forget your promise what is my promise uh, this is the lady we talked to to upgrade stuff and to look towards targets um, over here we can choose our characters so Wade is who we played as an award-winning war reporter with multiple combat skills starts with three hearts a key and a grenade uh, we have Anna uh, as sparks best agent she's been given their most important mission starts with four hearts and a key Amir, a test subject from Titan's secret experiments. He's got some strange yet strong mental abilities. He's DLC content, but I'm not entirely sure what that means. Maybe you had to play the beta uh, or the demo because I did, but I think he that everyone has him who has the game, so I don't think they're actually DLC. Um, characteristics, Amir can preview the description of items without picking them up he will lose one heart container on each level and he will fly when he has no heart containers starts with six hearts and one grenade um, he's very very unique definitely with the losing one heart container per floor and being able to see what items do before picking them up is quite nice um, Saya another DLC content 
Uh, test subject from one of Titan's secret experiments. She's an expert with a katana. Sai has two different battle forms for ranged attacks and melee attacks. Use left shift to switch between uh, the gun and the katana. So she has a special melee weapon uh, different than the daggers that everyone else carries. And it's, yeah, it, it gives you a little bit of a movement boost when you use it in the air. She starts with four hearts, no keys, no grenades, no nothing. And as you can see here, this is lit up. So the first target has been defeated for Wade. And our next episode is going to start off with Anna. And I'll see you in that one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.